Hi everyone! So this week we are back to our narrative unit. Two weeks ago we read Frederick Douglass's slave narrative, and we explored how it used rhetorical tools within a real-life story to convey a persuasive purpose. In our assignment we talked about how Douglass was aware of his audience, um, many of us agreeing that he wrote his narrative specifically to white people who could read and might be persuaded to join the abolitionist movement, and we also thought about how he used ethos, logos, and pathos to establish his credibility, present facts about racism and slavery, and appeal to the emotions of his readers. This week we are at the beginning of a very different kind of slave narrative. Kindred is an entirely fictional story written by science fiction author Octavia Butler and published in the late 1970s. The central story is about a woman, Dee, who travels back and forth between present-day California and 19th century Maryland. It explores the similarities and contrasts between the experiences of a black woman in the 1970s and the experiences of black women during the time of slavery. In two weeks, we will be writing comparison and contrast papers about the relationship between Narrative of the Life of Frederick Douglass and Kindred. So part of what we will be doing over this week and next is thinking about how we already see comparison in Kindred. But we also will be thinking about how a fictional story can have a similarly persuasive purpose, just like a nonfiction narrative. In one of our readings this week, I tried to provide a bit of contextual information to help fill the gap between Frederick Douglass's time and Octavia Butler's. Please do check out that information about Jim Crow laws and keep it in mind as you read the early chapters. In this video, though, I want to provide a different kind of context, and that's talking about the ways that this novel, I'm sorry, the way that this novel borrows from the science fiction genre to communicate its message. While the only real science fiction plot element to this story is the time travel, Kindred does do some of the things that science fiction is known for doing. If you think about some of the science fiction that you're familiar, you're familiar with, you might notice that science fiction allows us to explore ethical questions about who we are, how we relate to the world, and how we relate to technology. Stories about artificial intelligence, for example, might ask us to consider what makes humans uniquely human. Stories about people of Earth encountering life on other planets might allow us to explore issues like immigration, empire, and race, in a more abstract theoretical framework that encourages audiences to let down their biases and look at the issues from a slightly different angle. Ultimately, a lot of science fiction stories are concerned with relationships between people who are different from one another, between humans who are competing for resources, and between humans and technology. In a story like Kindred, borrowing time travel as a device out of science fiction similarly has a rhetorical purpose. It allows the narrative to draw parallels between two distinct time periods. On the one hand, this novel takes place in the 1800s in a world where black people, and black women especially, are treated inhumanely and are victims of grave injustices because slavery is legal. On the other hand, the novel also takes place in the late 1970s, over a decade after most Jim Crow laws were formally abolished and the Civil Rights Act and the Voting Rights Act were passed. Just like science fiction uses futuristic ideas and technological advancements to take real-life issues and deal with them in a slightly less reactive setting, so the use of time travel in Kindred allows Octavia Butler to not only think about what life was like in the 19th century, but also to consider what continued effects that legacy has in the United States today. The novel asks questions about what has changed and what still continues in the present day of the narrative. I'll mention this in an email I send to the class, but I also want to mention it here. Kindred deals with some heavy subjects and describes the effect that slavery had on black women, both sexually and in terms of mental health. For some of us, these are especially difficult subjects, but I think that they are important subjects for us to be aware of, to read about, and to discuss. But I do want to give everyone a heads up, though, so that you're not surprised as you read the novel. That's the end of this week's mini lecture. It's another short one, but I hope that you find it helpful. Have a good week, and as always, please let me know if you have questions along the way. Bye!